It's a cold-blooded creature that's never been seen this far north. A specific species of wall lizard was discovered by a family over in Vancouver, and the new species has researchers at the Royal BC Museum concerned about the potential effect they could have on the ecosystem. Take a look. For the last 52 years, all we've had in Canada is the common wall lizard, but there's a new player on the scene, the Italian wall lizard. It's, it's our newest arrival here in British Columbia. So how do we know it's a different lizard? The colour on the, the Italian wall lizard is really obvious, especially the ones we have. There are two very nice, clean, crisp green stripes down the back, whereas the common wall lizard here has green, but it's interrupted with black blotches. So they're easy to tell apart. It was discovered by a family in Vancouver. Well, I got a phone call. Oh yeah, I've got a green lizard. Should I let it go? And I almost gasped and, no, don't let it loose. And uh, she, yeah, she sent me a couple of very blurry photos. And it, even with the blurry photo, I was able to tell it was an Italian wall lizard and a new species for BC. And the big problem I have with it, it's a female. It could have laid eggs. But if she had laid eggs in, in, the, in Vancouver, there could already be five to eight hatchlings running around. So why does that matter? We've already got the common wall lizard and in the last 52 years it's gone from about 12 to 14 lizards to over half a million. So they're spreading far and wide, they're as far north as Campbell River. They're all over Saanich down to Machosan. Um, they're in people's gardens, they may be eating pollinators, they're definitely disrupting the ecosystem. And so we don't want another species. What can be done? There's no solution at the moment, it's a wait and see, but it's really exciting to get the very first one in Canada, not just British Columbia. The one we got here could be a stowaway, we don't know, and it could have come from Orcas Island. It could be from California, it could be from the eastern seaboard, Kansas, or it could have been from Europe itself. So a little bit of DNA sleuthing and we should be able to figure that out. So would Gavin still like the public to contact him with lizard sightings? I would rather people start putting it into iNaturalist. Everyone can get iNaturalist on their phone, their tablet, their computer, and they take photographs and then they submit the records and it becomes global. It doesn't matter if it's a, an American robin for that matter. You can tag anything and you, you instantly become a citizen scientist. And perhaps your sighting could be a game changer, just like that family in Vancouver. This Week in History. Brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.